Hi, I'm Peter Clausen from bugsandcyberspace.com, pet bug website, and also Sky Island Adventures, where we take you on fantastic bug trips, both day and night, down here in the Sky Islands of Arizona. The best bugs in the United States in terms of the size and diversity, the showiest specimens that our country has to offer. Today's video is about black caterpillar hunters. I think we feature a green one in here too. They've recently reclassified some of these. Formerly, we always referred to them as being in the genus Callosoma or maybe Callosthenes for some of the black specimens or species. They seem to have redefined them as Carabosoma and a few other things. A little hard to keep up with that sometimes, especially with all of the bugs that we have coming and going down here in southeastern Arizona. Just an awesome buggy place. So in today's video, you're going to see some of the habits of these beetles, um, their predatory behaviors, as well as uh, the times where they fall victims to predators of their own or scavengers. These beetles make great pets. They'll live for a year or two, generally. I often think that I've lost my colony of them. It's happened a few years uh, off and on where in the fall they burrow down and uh, I actually use them frequently as cleanup crews in uh, my roach tanks. They will prey on some of the roaches, but if you have a, a colony of say a thousand red runner roaches, um, you don't really notice any going missing and it keeps the beetles very happy and they will scavenge as well. And so that's why they work as a cleanup crew. But in the fall, they'll often overwinter underground and I will forget that I even have them in the tank and then all of a sudden when the weather warms in the spring, they'll resurface again. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions about them, please ask down in the comments area below. Oh, a nice close-up of this black caterpillar hunter beetle. Just out roaming around feeding on most anything smaller than it. Soft-bodied prey are preferred. Got another calisoma here, hanging out on top of the plants. You'll often see them in the evening hours, climb plants. Tall ones especially, where they will take off in flight to move to different areas, especially good flyers early on when it's still warm outside and their flight muscles are more powerful. This is a big part of the Dynasties Granti beetling and Payson experience here, finding the run over ones at the gas stations. Works out for some. Can you hear this black caterpillar hunter buzzing? One of the accounts that I follow here on Instagram is called Nature is Metal. This is the convex inner surface of the wings of a beetle, a black caterpillar hunter, Callosoma. And what's especially disturbing about this is that the beetle is actually still alive, even though its entire abdomen has been removed by these ants. They've even cut a hole there in the hardened wing covers, and still it moves. This doesn't look to me like a beetle that was dying of old age, and then the ants came upon it to scavenge it. I suspect rather that maybe a bird or a bat 
rodent, some other kind of predator, started off on this beetle and quickly ate what's missing here and that the ants have now converged upon it. All right, what Cassandra just found. One grasshopper died, giant plains lubber. Two others cannibalizing, scavenging it, same species. And then all these caterpillar hunters. Man, it's like a feeding frenzy. You can talk. <laughs> if you want. It is. This is so cool to see. I mean, for a lot of people, this is disgusting, but. Wow, that's amazing. Every bite, the perfect bite, Cassandra. <laughs> Every bite. I mean, I would add a little hot sauce, but. <laughs> they don't know. bring it out here, you might be able to see the teal coloration there at the perimeter of the body, the elytra, the wing covers of this beetle. And you can see that the elytra are striated. They have little lines in them. On iNaturalist, I didn't see even one other account of this species in the United States. And on Bug Guide, after I found one about 30 minutes away recently. I looked it up and saw on Bug Guide that there were only maybe two records of it here in Arizona and one in Texas. Species, I think it said ranged down to Columbia and was mostly found in Mexico. Very neat to be down here so close to the border and to find these very special bugs. So happy to see this one. We've made a lot of videos about these black caterpillar hunters, Calisoma species. This is the first one, I think, documenting their breeding behavior. Mm, scratch that. We have cannibalism. <laughs> I saw that there was one on top of the other. Started rolling the camera to document part of their natural history. And as it turns out, um, something else entirely is going on here. Guess we'll uh, get back to our walk around the yard and where I usually say we'll leave these two alone to enjoy each other's company. That doesn't seem to be the case here tonight.